Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays, the darkest dungeon. My name is Stealing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are off to fight the Necromancer's Apprentice. Uh, it's high time that we got ourselves a little bit of fucking pain train going here. So fuck this guy. We're going to fight the Necromancer's Apprentice. Uh, that's the plan at any rate, so that's what we're going to do, and that's where we're off to right now. If you, As you see, as I am currently doing this, um, we're going to give you... The speed the speed downgrades like really hard. You know what? I'm gonna just send her in with just a survival guide. Everyone else is like pretty good. You're super fucking fast. Holy shit. Um everyone else is pretty good. Uh Max HP's down because he's got fragile and your speed's down because of your trinkets, but your protection's up, which is great. Runes phobe is bad, but um precise striker is good. Bad gamblers, whatever. Witnesses, whatever. Um, Decamania is whatever. Beast haters, okay. Rune scrounger and runes adventure are going to be very helpful here because it'll keep us in the money a little bit. And we got fast, uh, fast healer and photomania, which are both really good. Um, I spent a little bit too much money um, getting us like set up for this, to be honest. Um, but I feel like it was still worth it because. Um, you know, it, it's, uh, the, it's a dangerous place, this is. Grab, grab all of these. There we go. The Necromancer is not that hard. Out of all of the bosses, it's be a tie between him and him, the uh, the Hag Lady's not that hard. Uh, and the Brigand 8-Pounder is actually really not that hard. All the Brigand Cannons are not that hard. Um, mostly due to the fact that, like, this guy's really easy if you can crowd control well enough, which we should not have a problem doing. Just realized, I, don't, I think we didn't bring any corpse clears, but that's, that's uh, going to probably be a problem, to be honest. Good scout. Where's our boss fight? It's over there. Uh, it's, like, actually on the other side of the dungeon. Like, they're always sort of far away, but, like, normally they're not, like, actually on the opposite side of the dungeon from us. That kind of sucks. Knife you. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Shoot you. Oh, come off. Stun you, I guess. Slap you. Be gone, fiend. We're pretty strong right now, um, all things considered. Like, it should be fine. Um... Should being an operative word, unfortunately, because, like, it's... There's a chance that this could go really upside down. Um, like, super upside down. The dodges on the spider, he, he's godlike. He's unstoppable. There we go. Never mind, I got him. <laughs> I lied. Um, this thing, you put it on you, and I think it causes your blight chance to go up, which we'll use before the boss. Well, that was useless. Um, I was actually kind of hoping that that would give us a buff, which is why I put it on her. There's the secret room, so I think we'll visit that. Um, yeah, so this should be fine. I mean, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous every time we do anything in this fucking game, because there's always a chance it's just going to go tits up really fast. Um, but the Necromancer's Apprentice, again, is not that hard. Um, out of all of the bosses, he's the least, the least difficult in my opinion. There's the secret room again. Rufus and Ron Stoppable with the best friend give possible. I was watching that last night because I've lost all control of my life. And, um, oh, what is that? The leper mask, soothing mask. It's actually not that great. Well, I mean, okay, so it's minus 15% damage, but bonus to like two worthless skills. Like, <laughs> It's not that great. Fallen God statue, huh? Fucking get consecrated, bitch. 30% damage till camp is actually super good. That should get us most of the way through the dungeon, hopefully. I don't plan to camp too much. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Wash. There we go. Not so bad. Uh, Wash. That's the that's the sound effect of uh, of zealous. Uh, what is it? Zealous blast or whatever? I can't remember the name of the spell now. 
zealous accusation. That's the name of it. There we go. Now get out of here. Destroy them all. Stun that one now. There we go. Bump of the night. Three damage. Not bad. It's our first damage of the dungeon. Wipe these guys out. Oh, that reminds me. So I did I did change up uh, Chaney a little bit. So we're going to get rid of these two and put on these two. Um, the Bulwark of Faith is way better. And uh, the reason I have the Lance is in case we get shuffled ever. He can jump back up to the... What the fuck? Whoa! Blights are way stronger on group enemies like this. Uh... I'm unfamiliar with the thing I'm seeing right now. I know this is how the, um, what's it called? The unstable flash or whatever. The, this is how this thing works. That, that thing works. Do a little bit of bonus damage to it, I guess. Yeah, I know, um, blights and stuff like that are way stronger on, um, on, like, group battles like this than normal. It's a skeletal horde. Broken horde, rabble soldier... That's kind of that's cool. Is that new? I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before on anything. Um, that's cool as hell. Get out of here. Never ending bones. This uh, it reminds me of uh, you guys ever seen Evil Dead? Reminds me of like the 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 Deadites from Evil Dead. Do a group heal. We're honestly, like, not even taking that much damage. Like, we're taking damage, but it's not that bad. Are we going to Bulwark here? Yeah, we're going to Bulwark on the grounds that I'm pretty sure these guys are going to drop fucking dead from the Blights next turn. 8 damage. 12 damage. In fact, I'm actually kind of hoping that our Vestal will go first. Nope. Nope. This is how a life yeah, we're good. Taken. I just wanted to cheese out some heals. We don't actually need them right now, which is nice, but Success open that up. Clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? This is going really well right now. Uh, this is a pretty decent team. Wait, I think we knew that this team was decent because I'm pretty sure we've used this team before. Um, but still pretty good. Short poem. Ease the hero's burden. Eat a little bit of food here. Have you disarmed that? And head on into the next room. Alright. We don't have any means of opening this, so I... You know what? We'll try to open it. Poison trap. Okay, that's... I deserve that. How bad is it? Five damage! Well, I guess we're gonna camp then. <laughs> Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get rid of bleeds and blights. There we go. Sanctuary. Was this a good idea? Probably not, to be honest. But, um... Let's get the bonus scouting chance. It'll be fine. Plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 damage. Or, plus 10 dodge is good. We'll just leave it at that. The way is good. lit. The path is clear. Good, we good, good. Require only the strength to follow it. With the Martyr Seal, getting sanctu having Sanctuary will also be super good. Because Sanctuary causes, uh, if you are on Death's Door, it causes you to do... Um, you can just disarm this now, thank you. It causes you to get healed for like a shit ton during camp. Um, sanctuary is super good. Um, and there's a way... I know that there are ways... There are camping skills that remove Death's Door debuffs. So like we might want to like... Try to do that. Or is it like while they're on death's door, I can do that? It's an interesting concept here. No, okay. Let's do this then. Good. But basically, five free torches for the cost of one torch. So I guess four torches for the cost of one torch. It's not bad. A net positive of four. I mean, it was five, four, one, which is not bad. It's not bad. Hello, frail maggots. You know what? We're gonna let um Dismas, not Dismas. We're gonna let our highwayman take out the spitting spider. 
We're gonna make sure the spider doesn't do anything. It's a dead eye, so it can crit really hard if we're not careful. And we'll do this. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Good dodge. Bad. Don't get stunned. Good. And he's stunned, so he's good. We're good. We good. Uh, let's blight you. Assume that we're gonna be faster than the spider. We were. Killed the spider fucking dead as hell. There we go. Alright, the blight should should kill that maggot on the next turn, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. We'll just chip away at the other one then. Ow. Maybe get some healing done on our highwayman. There we go. There we go. Out of here. A faint hope blossoms. Do a group heal. Sounds good. Perfect. Slash you open. And we're good. More spider packs, please. That would be great. Spider packs are really easy. Uh, if we put herb on him, I think a scala man pops out. So we're gonna do that. Oh no, it's a rabble! Look out, we were surprised! Pickaxe that guy. I knew it was just gonna be a rabble. For the record, I knew that this was gonna happen. I, uh, I, I want that to be very clear. Stun him. Get out of here. This expedition at least promises Let's put you like this. Because then we can we can start the, the fight off with a point blank shot and hopefully kill whatever the hell it is that's up front. That's a plan at any rate. Let's do this. Apparently that does more uh, the, the knife throw does more damage to marked targets. Literary. So that's something that we might want to take into account in the future here. Stun you. Damage is not that hard for us to deal with, so um, I feel confident in my decision making right there. If we hit her again with the blights, uh, she'll die next turn. So I mean, I know that Clarinelle's gonna go first because she's got twelve fucking speed. So, but now we just gotta hope that blight lands. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, the way speed works is that you take, um, you, you basically, they roll a d6, I think, and then they, um, you add your character's speed to the roll. Ow! 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 Why would you do that? I don't want to kill them yet, because, um, we're not in a position where killing them's, they're not going to both die on the same turn. Which is bad for business. Um, no, so yeah, so they, they you take you roll the D6 and you add your speed to it. Um, which is why negative speeds almost never go. Is because if you have a negative speed, it's very unlikely that you're gonna be higher than somebody that doesn't have a negative speed. A trifling Touch this victory. Thing. But a victory Positive th work? Ruins adventurer. Nice. We'll probably camp the room right before um, the boss fight. So can we get some more empty room, man? That would be super duper right now. Really been kind of kind of going hard on the whole. That's what I wanted to do. A handsome reward. Oh, I was not aware you could do that. Hit Q and E to like switch around like that. It's kind of cool. We'll heal her on the next fight. Um, Want to make sure that we save enough food for a uh, big heavy camp right before the boss fight. What do we got? Treasure room, huh? A couple more fights and we should be good. I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, mostly on the back of, like, the fact that we've, like, demolished the last, like, four boss fights. I almost don't want to camp now, because that's, like, a really good buff to have on him. 
In fact, if we get fully healed, we might not camp. We don't have any camp buffs that are like particularly strong that I'm kind of like I'm looking for. Um, so maybe we'll save the camp for after the boss fight so that maybe we can um, maybe we can instead get uh, all our stress taken care of from the whole dungeon, like from the boss fight and from everything. That might be a good idea. Might be a good enough idea where that's exactly what we're going to do. Assuming that we don't end up... Um, if we don't end up super beat up right before the boss fight. Um, if we do end up super beat up, then we will not do that. Because that's a stupid idea then. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Good dodge. Good dodge. Peel. Peel, peel, peel. Peel the banana peel. I used to sing that a lot when I was a kid. No idea where it came from. Still to this day have no idea where it came from. Um, do toxin trickery on yourself. Get that dodge bonus up a little bit. I'm trying to heal her, which is why I did that. Because like it's becoming a nuisance when she gets hit after I've healed her. Good dodge. Good dodge. Where are you getting all this dodge from? I don't even know. Get out of here. So much treasure. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Keep going. Keep going. It's gonna be okay. Keep going. Keep going today. So many fucking busts. We're gonna be able to convert those into other things, luckily. Um, but holy shit, we have so many busts. Hey, like a madman. Get rid of you. We're gonna go kind of hard on the madman. Because he can do like this. He can do this one, which is like an AoE stressor, which isn't great. Granted, it's not as bad as, like, his point stressor, right? But, um, it's still pretty bad. Don't do it. No! That's alright, we'll do duels advance or something. Ow. I mean, we could shoot from back there, but then she can't heal properly. There we go. I don't know why I said properly bad, like, weird like that, but I did. Hit that brawler. Pickaxe this guy. Nope, that's a big miss. He's not dead now. Exposed to a killing blow. Ow! Why would you do that? To me? Alright, good. He's dead now. That'll help. Heal up everybody. Everybody! Shots, 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 shots. Don't you fucking do it. Ow. You did one fucking damage. You hit that guy. Uh, Cheney does so much damage right now. Both in real life and, and in the game. Ayo. Blight you. The blights are so strong from our fucking uh, grave robber that like it, you'd be foolish not to do it. That's That's my feelings on it right now. Oh, the dodges are so good. Stab you. Oh, my God. A devastating blow. Heal everybody. And then wipe these two out. There we go. Perfect. Just got a small dagger. We also got some anti-venom, which is not super useful, but has uses. We also have um, a chest in here, which is great. Tempting goblet. All right. I don't. You can actually get his tempting goblet. That's like a thing you can get. Let's shoot you. I was trying to decide if I wanted to shoot him or if I wanted to. Uh, well, I guess we'll go to a group heal. Everybody's a little hurt, and she's not critical, so I'm, I'm feeling confident about that decision-making. 
We gotta get rid of the Royal Bone Soldier. He's gotta go. Oh, piece of shit. Spearman, huh? We gotta kill a Spearman. Does a lot of damage. Right, he's dead now. Good. Good. Hanging in there. Start working our way back, like, from the back front, basically. Ow. Ow. Why would you do that? That is mean. Great Dead. The weapon that cuts on its own. We're getting there. You're not quite dead. You're going to be next turn, though, so we're not going to bother hitting him. Unless we manage to kill both of these guys somehow. Like, if we kill the Royal Bone Soldier, we'll probably try to try to wipe him out. Heal you. That was a big hit, so we're going to try to heal up Chaney a little. Ow. A bowl work for right now. If I kill the rabble, it's just going to come back, and there's a chance it's going to come back as something much, much deadlier than a rabble. Like, it could come back as a soldier, for all we know. Kill you. Kill you. Another one falls. Good. Alright, I actually worked out fine. Seize this momentum. Push on to the tasks and don't need anti venom. Take that. Okay. Fun fact, we are not actually beat up, so I don't think we're gonna camp before the boss fight. Which is atypical. I mean, we'll see. After the two fights, we might actually have to back out and, like, come back and camp. Because if we're super beat up, we have to do it. Um, the heals are too good to, to ignore. Um, we don't actually have, like... But we don't have any camping buffs that are, like, particularly strong, right? So, um, ignore the rabbles. Kill this guy. With impunity. Just realizing that might not have been a good idea. I probably should have just bull worked, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. We're just hitting so hard right now. Yeah, there you go. See, he came back as a fucking soldier, which is not great at all. But this guy's dead, so it doesn't matter. Well, he doesn't matter. This guy still matters. He's chasing what matters. I'm confident in uh, Cheney's ability to kill this guy in one hit. Just because he's got all those buffs on him. I was like, assuming he doesn't miss, it should be fine. Yeah, we're still not that beat up, so I'm still feeling okay about this. Alright, here we go. A little nervous about this, to be honest, but... Um, We'll see. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Alright. Here we go. Blight you. <laughs> just back to front. You know the rules. This is actually a fight we can cheese. Because we can just leave the defender up. And uh, we could just ignore the other two, or we could leave the rabble up even and just ignore the other two. Either one's fine, because um, to be honest, it's not. They don't. These two don't do that much damage. Defender went before the arbalist and the rabble. Now I've fucking Under seen everything. Unbalanced. Good blights. Kill you. He's got to go because he does a lot of damage. There you go. Everyone else is pretty negligible. Like, we can ignore them pretty easy. I think we might leave the rabble alive. I think that's the plan. Ow. Oh! 
Good crit. Good crit. I mean, not what I wanted, because I actually want this fight to last as long as possible, but, um... Still, pretty good. Swap them around. We want we want to heal. That's why we're here. Like, we need to heal a little bit, because everyone's just beat up enough where everyone needs to heal a little bit. What the game doesn't know won't hurt it. Just move back and forth. <laughs> Oh, so good. Okay. That should do it. That should be fine. Uh, Rabble survived. My god. <laughs> Goodbye. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Um. We'll just leave that behind. Fuck it. That should be good. Here we go. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare based material. It should be fine. I'm uh, I'm slightly nervous about the stress, to be honest. But out of all the things that could go wrong, that's so low on the list that I'm not nervous about it. Um. Let's keep shooting. Let's just fuck him up for right now. Oh my god, yes. Yes! Fight me, coward! <laughs> A little bit of damage. Plus another soldier. These guys gotta go. We gotta get rid of them. Especially the royal one. He's gotta go. Hopefully we can stun him. Nope. It's highly unlikely that we'll ever actually stun that guy. He's got 75% resistance, so we're, we're basically looking at a nat 25% chance to, like, actually stun him, which, like, never fucking happens. This is XCOM rules, man. It never happens. Alright, that's a little too many soldiers, I think. We've gone a little too ham on, uh, on the boss, and we haven't been focusing on the ads enough. I mean, it's okay, because, like, like I said, Cheney's just going to tear through them, hopefully, but... There's another soldier. Luckily, he's almost dead, so, like, we're still good. Oh, he's dead now, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. We just gotta kill these soldiers, which we can do. I wish it had been, like, a rabble once or twice. That would have been cool. Ow. Can you not? You're having a giggle, mate. Alright. We'll start in on the next one. Guys, like, because the necromancer's dead, so it's fine. We're good. We're good. We did it. <laughs> oh. I knew this this was gonna be like one of the easier things that we did today, but like, fuck this. That was this was like pathetically easy. Like, I actually feel bad about how like how dumped we made. They got the game today. You're dead, so let's just ignore you. Cut my life into pizza. This is my plastic fork. Ow. Get one last hit in before you fucking drop dead, you stupid, you stupid son of a bitch. Joke's on you. I'm just gonna camp after this and leave. Decimated. What up? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Dump that. Dump that. Killer. Take these. Continue adventuring so we can camp real quick. Feast. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Alright, let's do... Actually, let's do... If 
Gallows humor? Okay. And then we'll do... Do another set of gallows humor, just in case it goes bad on him. Okay, then we'll do, set, do the vigil. And we're good to go. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Smooth like silk. And we actually got a really good trinket out of it. I, the martyr seal is risky, but it's something that I feel like if, if we stick out on a leper or something, like, he's gonna do some fucking crazy shit. Um... Like, it could be fun. It, it could be a good trinket if we if we use it correctly. Lots of death blow resistance. Really try to, like, press it out. Beast Slayer's great. Winded and Fear of Eldritch are not, though. Fear of Eldritch in particular is pretty bad, because, um... Once our estate you know, shit's gonna be pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Everybody's pretty good on stress. Anybody good in the stagecoach? A fucking Houndmaster! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that's worth. He's worth that much money to me. Hell yeah! Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We fucking can use this. hell yeah! Oh, and he's super good too. Oh hell yeah! Hell fucking yeah! I'm so excited. We never got a Houndmaster on the entirety of the last uh, playthrough, so fucking hell, I, I'm on board. What do you need, Blacksmith? We need more portraits and more deeds. There. There you go. Fan the flames. Mold the metal. We are raising Sweet! An army. Super happy. Super duper happy. We actually can, like, Go and get, like... Mike, I want to make this go away. Scouting whistle. It's not bad. Another scouting whistle. Rot gut cancer is pretty good. Carapace idol for the antiquarian. Heavy boots. What else we got in here? New Orders of the Unworthy. Dodgy sheath. Move amulet. All right, I think we'll probably start in on the cove or the like. We haven't done any missions of the wields or the warrens yet, so we might have to go do that. Uh, but for now, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.